Hi, we're currently here at Riverbanks Zoo and Garden and we're now in the farm. So we just had our lunch at Safari Town and we're gonna look for the map. We're gonna look for the bear. We wanna see the bear, the sea lion, and and the baboon. Come on, let's explore the barn. Ooh, we're in the barn. Let's go. These are the goats. These are the goats. Let's see them in America. Let's feed her. I mean, them, I think. Come on. Um, I know you haven't seen alpacas yet, and you're going to see them here in the barn. sea lion and seal training for you to come up and ask i'll be happy to answer as many questions as you guys got as many as y'all want to throw in my way we're going to see two types of training today um anytime you see one of our sea lions roll over and show the underside of their belly we're going to show the underside of their flippers that's going to be an example of how to keep training to make sure that there are any, any immediate boosts or cuts on their skin at the site but every time you see one of our sea lions go by or maybe jump throughout the water, that's going to be an example of an initial change. And if you look over the left side, it looks like we've got Angel on the far side and we'll go to the side. If you can try to call him over, I'll go to the other side to where I'm standing. It looks like Ranger's making his way over here. You guys want to take a look at that. Now, a couple of other things I like to talk about with our sea lions is that. Once in some ways we can tell them apart because male and female sea lions look fairly similar. But one of those things is going to be their big flippers. All of our sea lions, all sea lions have these big flippers on their sides and harbor seals do. 
And this allows them to swim up to 25 miles per hour underwater. That is faster than any type of dolphin. That is faster than any type of Olympic swimmer you've seen on TV in the past, what they'll see in Paris this summer. Harbor swimmers do not have these flippers. They have a different way of getting around on land. And if you ever hear at another point in time uh, during your visit at Riverbank Zero Garden, you might be lucky enough to see Riley out on land. But she gets around by using her body. She basically bounces to her next location while she's on land. And that's a term we like to call the luck, which is a real term that is a real scientific term. And here's Ranger making his way towards the front. Now he's an example of him. We love giving Ranger his exercise every single day, twice a day at least, out in front of the public. Oh. You may notice if you look a little bit closer, when Ranger does the behavior correctly, he is rewarded with a piece of fish, sometimes a piece of squid. Water. And if you hear a clicking sound, the keeper indicating to Ranger that he did perform Ranger. his behavior correctly. If you look underwater here, you can see Ranger swimming throughout the habitat. If you're facing that little sea pan, pop back up, out onto the dock again. It looks like he's made his way over to the far side. We feed our sea lions here anywhere between smelt, silver sides, cake. Hi, we're in the gift shop. These are all Uber bags. And the baby bought my penguin. My penguin baby bought. Where are the penguins? Let's go to the aquarium. Where are the penguins? You can actually withdraw money for some. Oh, nice. All of these keychains are really nice. Barbie. Like mommy, honey. So, if you're wondering how much this would cost, it would be $25. want to buy this one. Baby, thank you. See you later, guys. Okay, so we're now in the aquarium conservatory, and outside you can see the gardens. So come on. Okay. Galapagos 
where they're at. Keep going. Yeah. Alrighty guys, we will now begin our afternoon penguin feeding demonstration. Before we start, I just want to ask that some of the viewers in the front of the viewing area either move to the left or the right or have a seat just so everyone can have a good view of the penguin feeding. We greatly appreciate you all. So my name is Carly and I'm an instructor here on the education team at Riverbanks and I'm very excited to tell you about our penguin friend so I will just hop right into it. Starting with the biggest guys on campus, we have our king penguins. And the king penguins are actually going to be the second largest penguins in the world. No, they are second only to the true Antarctic native, which would be the emperor penguins. Hi, look at these beauties. Oh my. 